I've had a few requests for more information about my port wall radio and this video shows the components I've used to build the radio station. I've built it into a Pelican 1440 case. I chose this case because it's top loading and the controls for the Yaesu FT991A are on the front panel so it makes sense to mount it in a case that allows easy access to control the radio. The case is also waterproof and has wheels which, so it offers protection and is easy to transport. It's got an internal power supply which is a 12 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery so it's low weight and offers an excellent amount of power for its size and weight. Next there's a power distribution panel. This has Anderson power poles for charging the internal battery via mains charger or a solar charge regulator and I use a patch cable to the row of power poles to power the case from the internal battery or I can use a longer cable to power from an external battery or power supply. The radio is housed in a plastic frame custom made for me by Mark at Avatar Engineering. All the cables required for the radio have been wired to the front panel along with a speaker. The frame has two 12 volt fans for air circulation to help cool the radio. The frame can be removed from the Pelly case if I want to use the radio from a table or in a vehicle or a boat. The radio is a Yaesu FT991A. My decision to use this radio was because it covers the HF, VHF and UHF bands and has, a has touch screen operation, a real time spectrum scope and most importantly a single USB computer connection for both cat control and sound input output between the computer and the radio. The final component is my Raspberry Pi 4. This is the version with 4GB of memory and I configured it to boot from a USB 3 solid state disc which improves performance and is much more reliable than an SD card. I've added a screen to it that shows some useful information such as the Wi-Fi network it's connected to and its IP address which means I can easily find it when I'm connecting to my iPad to control the Raspberry Pi using VNC. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this quick tour of my portable digital amateur radio station. If you want to see some more, follow and subscribe for future content featuring both this radio and Raspberry Pi updates and configuration. If you've got any questions or comments, then please use the comments below and I'll do my best to reply as soon as I can. Big thanks goes to Mark at Avatar, Avatar Engineering for the help building the radio into the case and to Paul at nightmarineelectronics.com for supply some of the parts. 7-3 until next time, this is Mark M0IAX.